Okay, after a very eventful morning, we um, went for a C-section. Mummy was doing not very well. Um, no contractions. Welpin wasn't moving forward. Wasn't happy with the way things are going. I just knew something wasn't right. So half seven this morning, we took her into the vets. And I knew there was five pups. So when the when they opened her up uh, for a C-section, the first pup due to come out sadly wasn't alive inside um, but was in a very difficult position there was no way she was going to be able to pass him so we made the right call there was no contractions whatsoever because there was five pups in her she's so tiny and there was no way she was going to get them out so we did the right thing we got we got a c-section before she moved any further forward with with the pregnant with the whelp um, so we've got four pups and they're all boys <laughs> oh, so but we've got some very beautiful boys we have tricolour chocolate tricolour there you go mister chocolate tricolour and chocolate he may develop a little bit of tan as well and become a tricolour, but at this stage he's chocolate with just a little bit of white on him. <laughs> hey, I know, sweetie. And then we have another chocolate tricolour. Where are we? Here we go, Mr. Chocolate Tricolour, number three. Number two. Chocolate number three, tricolour number two. <laughs> And then we have our little party, black party. So, all boys, which is a bit, a bit disappointing because I know I've got a couple of people waiting on girlies. But um, the main thing is that mum's fine. And the pups, the four pups that she's, that she's got are, are all fine. And when she came around from the C-section, didn't, didn't have any any milk on her. So that was worrying. But um, the pups have been suckling like mad and she's brought her milk down. So they're able to get their colostrum, which is fantastic. And uh, so eventful, to say the least. Sadly, this is her second C-section. Sometimes they'll have a C-section and then everything goes well after after that. They'll have a self-whelp, self-whelp. But on this occasion, I just knew straight away we were going to end up with another C-section. As soon as she started in whelp, I just knew there was no way she was going to have them herself. So because of that, she won't be able to have any more pups. Two C-sections, no more. So we're going to have to retire our little girly, aren't we sweetheart? She's an absolutely fantastic little girl and she will be a fantastic companion for somebody um, who might have been waiting on a girl from her, who might be interested in um, taking on an older one. Well, she's not very old anyway, she's still a young girl. But we are going to have to look for a beautiful, permanent, loving pet home for her because she is a fantastic little girl. And I'm just happy that um, I took the decision straight away to go in for a C-section because I think we would still be here now in difficulties if I hadn't have t made that call. Um, so, there we go. Four boys. Two chocolate tricolours, one chocolate solid, one black party, and mummy. Oh, sweetheart. What a shame. But uh, we it's early days. We still have to get over the next 10 days. They're always critical in any tiny pup's life, but... Um, 
coming through by C-section as well. We'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully we'll keep everything crossed that the next 10 days go really, really well. And then it's all systems go from there. So we'll see, well, see how things go. I'll do my everything to make sure those pups pull through. But so far, they're in a good size. Everything's um, looking good. They're nice and strong. They've already been suckling and brought our milk down. So no reason to think that any, anything will um, go wrong. But we'll just keep going and uh, take each day as it comes. So mummy's happy. Puppies are happy. I'm happy. <laughs>